my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new then hi my name is Luce and I do everything books and lifestyle over on this channel. Today's video is actually going to be a super super exciting video and that is my bookshelf organisation and bookshelf tour of every single book that I own which I truthfully don't actually know how many books I have. I know I feel like I have books around the 300 mark because I've got two shelves up here that are full of books and then I've basically got all of my books on the floor. Probably wondering why have you emptied your entire bookshelf? Because so you would have actually seen in last week's video in the background I had my bookshelf and it was just normal wood colour. I decided to paint it white and do you know what I actually love it. It makes my room look so much better and I'm just in love with it. Because I recently put up these two bookshelves up on this wall I just wanted everything to sort of be white and this has been a project of mine for a really really long time so I'm super excited and I thought I would basically just film a YouTube video of me organizing my bookshelf and showing you guys all the books I own some of them that I've read some of my favorites some of them that I haven't read but yeah I just thought we could do this together and I thought it could be a really nice thing hope you guys enjoy this video if you do then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe down below and don't forget to turn on the little post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video and don't forget to follow me on all of my social media which is always linked in the description box down below and with that said let's just jump straight into the video so, I am gonna start off with the top shelf here basically i just have a lamp up here at the moment which i always have a lamp up here just because it gives more light into my room and this lamp if anybody's wondering is from home base and i love it especially with the kind of contrast of the white with the wooden kind of legs i absolutely love it. i don't really know where to begin other than i'm gonna start with the books that are on my dressing table because these were originally up on this shelf so I'm not actually going to change the layout of my books too much to what I had previously to this but I just thought I'd show you how I personally organize my bookshelf and I'll give you guys a more detailed look into the two shelves that are above my dressing table at the end so we're gonna start off with my beloved Elton John book this was a gift for my 21st birthday from some very close family friends of ours and if you guys didn't know I love Elton John he's one of my icons I just love him so much this book is basically so if anybody's unaware Elton John has finally done his final tour which is Farewell Yellow Brick Road basically he came out well they came out with a um, 75 year edition of his book everything that has happened throughout his career it's just incredible and there's actually a poster in it as well which I need to find a frame for so I can put it up in my room we're gonna start off with my lovely Elton John book it's gonna sit pride of place on the bookshelf just here I kind of need to twist my lamp so that it sits kind of against it like this the book is the Elton John book which I'm just in love with and then we're gonna go in with my Tintin books so you guys would have seen in my last video that I talked about Tintin how much I love it and I currently have four of the books so I'm gonna put these on top I'm gonna put up my special editions of some of my all-time favorite books we've got my three favorite books um so i've got to kill a mockingbird by harper lee but this is the graphic novel version which i found and it and it's so incredible basically i try and collect different editions of all my favorite books but this is just a really cool graphic novel so i'm gonna put this one up here next to these guys then we've got return of sherlock holmes which is a gorgeous edition with the gold kind of foiling around it and the hobbit but this one is in french i'm then gonna put up all of my stephanie garber books so i've got once upon a broken heart and hardback 
I've got the Caravelle trilogy and then I've got Once Upon a Broken Heart duology. Well, it's going to be a trilogy, but I only have the two books at the moment until the other one comes out. But these are Waterstones exclusive editions, so I love these books so much. So I'm going to pop them up on the top shelf as well. I'm going to put up Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves, which is a fantasy duology. So I'm not going to squeeze too much onto this top shelf just because it's not as sturdy as the other shelves because I've got the lamp holding the books basically. This shelf here, this shelf's always been a mystery to me. I never know what to put on it purely because I used to have like all of my favourite books on here and then I got these two shelves and then I added all of my favourite books onto those. So I basically have space for pretty much all of my books on this bookshelf now which is great however i did have the shatter me series and the akatar series on there and then i had all of my agatha christie books which i think i'm still going to put on that shelf because they're some of my favorite books so i think i'm i'm still going to put on this shelf my favorite books and then we can work out the rest now on to the next shell this one i'm gonna put i'm gonna start doing them in genre order i'm gonna start off with this shelf being all my murder mystery books because they're the ones that i have the most of and then we're gonna do fantasy and then we're gonna do general fiction also this is where i start to double stack these shelves um because they make the most sense so first series going in is the um the girl with the dragon tattoo so we're gonna pop them at the back back I'm gonna put my magpie society books but girl a hide the therapist the Thursday murder club at the front here I'm gonna put pride and premeditation in my dreams I hold a knife funny survive the night hunting party family upstairs firekeeper's daughter rivers of London marple and the appeal I'm gonna put this might hurt and the locked attic in the back mrs england truth or dare date with death piece of spades uncle paul at the front castaways at the front and eight detectives at the front and then i'm also gonna put wrong place wrong time at the front as well slow burning fire fatal crossing haven't they grown we're never here i'm gonna actually put my new books in here which is lady joker it's a series which is supposed to be absolutely brilliant it's about like a japanese set in japan and they kind of um they kidnap the ceo of a japanese beer company which i feel like i'm gonna love so i'm gonna put these at the front because they're books that i want to read quite soon so i've moved the camera down slightly just so that i can start on my fantasy shelf so on the fantasy shelf we are gonna put you seven deaths of evelyn hardcastle one of us is lying and you'll be the death of me which i'm gonna pop at the back actually as for fantasy this is also sci-fi and fantasy all at the same time so i've got june at the back i've got ready player one i've got the first two books in the peregrine's home for peculiar children series and i've also got red queen handmaid's tale i found some more thriller murder mysteries oh my god i found loads <sighs> found all of them okay got magpie we've got guest list the cup at number nine can go at the back here. How to kill your family. The feast. Dial A for aunties. Shadow and Bone trilogy. The Six of Crows duology. I've then got, I managed to find the American covers of the Inheritance games because I had the English covers and I hated them. And I actually found the American ones on TikTok shop. So 
these are gonna go here. Six Crimson Cranes, Lost Apothecary, but Light Lark, The Night Circus, which is Folk of the Air series. I've then got the Prison Healer series, which is supposed to be great and I cannot wait to read it. So I'm gonna put it up at the front because I'm gonna do um, filming a video soon. It's gonna include this genre. We are now gonna go into the kind of contemporary general fiction. So I've done pretty much all my fantasy. So I'm gonna do all of my romance and then we're gonna go in with all of my like contemporary fiction and stuff onto this shelf here. Love and Gelato. We are gonna put all of my TJR books here. I want to do all of my Beth O'Leary books. So I've got The No Show, The Road Trip, The Switch, and The Flat Share. The Unhoneymooners, Cleopatra and Frankenstein, Get Alive Chloe Brown, Golden Boys, The Love Hypothesis, and Love on the Brain, My Policeman. And then down here, so at the back here, I'm gonna put, this is, one of my books from when I was a child and I found it at my grandma's house and it's a Winnie the Pooh so I'm gonna put this one at the back because it's just it holds special memories for me and I've got a couple of Anne Cotton's books and we're basically gonna put all of my Christina Lauren books Anna and the French Kiss this was like one of the first books I ever read Where the Crawdads Sing and Looking for Alaska We Were Liars Flight Attendant Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey I'm gonna put It Happened One Summer down here as well because it's Tessa Bailey Good Girl Complex down here Jennifer Niven's books Me Before You Everything Everything Wonder Clara and the Sun Normal People Can Go Back Here Next Hex I'm gonna keep up front because it's getting to that time of year and I kind of want to read it. I'm also going to put The Vanishing Half back here as well. Lucy Scores books can go back here as well. Better than the movies here as well. Okay, we're going to go in with all the contemporary fiction or general fiction that doesn't really have a category. So we're going to start off with Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Winter in Sokcho, Lessons in Chemistry, Satsuma Complex, Influential, American Dirt, Midnight Library, Spanish Love Deception and The American Roommate Experiment. And then I'm also going to put all of my Alice Oseman books here. Anxious People and A Man Called Ove. Okay, I'm going to put Demon Copperhead and Young Mungo here. And then we're going to go in with historical fiction. Stories of Hope by Heather Morris, JFK, Book Thief, Suffragette. Okay, so I am definitely running out of room. I'm going to put a librarian of Auschwitz. Okay, so I finally finished my bookshelf. So I thought I would give you guys a little tour and a tour of the shelves that I've got up there. I have got two more books that I need to put up, but I need to basically sort out the top top shelf just to put these two on i'm gonna start off with my main bookshelf which you guys have obviously seen um i didn't film me doing the bottom part just because i was getting a little bit frustrated at this point because nothing was going my way but it's fine we've sorted everything now and i know it looks messy but this is seriously the only way that i could fit all of my books on here. I'm gonna start off on the top shelf. I've had to kind of add these three books here because um, they literally wouldn't go anywhere else. So I've got my Tintin Urge book, George Orwell's memoir, and this is going to hurt by Adam Kay. And then I've got these ones. So I've got my Elton John book, my Tintin, To Kill a Mockingbird, Sherlock Holmes, The Hobbit. Um, Stephanie Garber's books and The Dance of Thieves Duology. And then we move down to this shelf, which has become kind of a random shelf, including these. So we've got Akatar series, Shatter Me series, Milk and Honey, and then The Killings of Kingfisher Hill, which is the fourth book in this series. And then we've got all of my Agatha Christie's and then my Serapis books and this new book that I recently picked up. Then we come to my next shelf, which is all of my murder mysteries. So you guys saw me put those on there. And then we've got all of my romance and fantasy at the back. 
We then got general fiction and historical fiction and then all of my hardbacks. And then quickly before my camera dies, up here, this is what it looks like. So I've got my series of unfortunate events, Heartstopper, Magnolia Parks, Daisy Hates Missing because I'm currently reading that, uh, Emily Henry, uh, all of Holly Jackson's books, uh, Maureen Johnson's Tree Devious, Fourth Wing, and then all of my Harry Potters are up there. And as I said, I've got two more books that I need to put up there, but I need to sort out that top Thank shelf. you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you did enjoy it. I know it was a bit of a kind of hectic video, but you know, this is, this is reality. If you did like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell. Follow me on all of my social media so you can see more bookish updates. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.